My point here is actually, it, they, they give premium to the value of the human resource, which I think was parallel to the mindset also of our president. In fact, when the president sit down as, as our head of this country, he also give premium to the human resource of one of the, as one of the uh, greatest resources that our country has. And so what we did in the Philippines is we tried to make sure that we should, our investment would focus on how we can address the improving our human resource. Because if our human resource, like for instance, in our statistics, we have a total of unemployed uh, in the labor force, we have about 3.3 million, but an, in, in, but in this uh, 3.3 million, 190,000 of these are unemployed. That's a, that accounts for 5.7% unemployment rate. Mm -hmm. If we can only harness mm -hmm. the potential and skills of these people, 157,000, that's number enough to, to, to contribute towards uh, building a, a better economy mm -hmm. in, in, in a given region. So, uh, having this uh, guided by this data, then probably our policies can be directed towards how we m make sure that this unemployed will eventually learn a better job in the near future. We have programs, for instance, like our Job Start program, which we will be discussing later on. This is actually a bridging program from school to work. Mm -hmm. you know, it is a transition of, as to when can a graduate or a student from school be able to learn a job right away after, after leaving school, yes. so things like this. So we have a program for this, and uh, the, the, essential, uh, the essential thing that we have to put, in, uh, in, uh, to put emphasis is that we are able to make sure that our human resource will not remain to be uh, an idle human resource, but transforming them into a more productive and competent uh, uh, citizens of this country because if we can only harness or tap their potential then they would truly contribute a lot to improving our economy and this is what other countries are trying to look at their people that's why they have programs also that ensures that their competence their their, their capability their, their technical know-how are also addressed and monitored so that they'd be able to address the specific need of a given uh, demand mm -hmm. which is actually set by the employers now as aside from unemployment, which is actually a problem, um, obviously in the mga graduates and even those who uh, who just finish college, uh, wala sila makakuan sa they were not hired sa ilahang kaning let's say dream job or mm -hmm. they graduated from a certain degree and then but sadly they could not be hired in that particular industry needing those degrees. So how big of a problem is underemployment uh, versus kaning ato ang unemployment? Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's one factor that mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have also to consider and try to see because uh, while, while we talk of unemployment rate which is going down, but to, 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 to the information of everyone, uh, our underemployment rate is also huge. Although it is all now going down, mm -hmm. uh, we now only have an unemployment rate of 17 point, underemployment rate rather of 17.6 as against 18.9% 18 .9 last year as of January, although a decrease of 1.1%. But the point is in real, in actual, in absolute figures, you have a lot of this uh, underemployed. That's about 500 or about half a million of our mm -hmm. workers are underemployed. Now, one of the strategies that we are doing this is to make sure that uh, we'd be able to come up with the desired, desired job opportunities that our country would be able to to create or to to, to provide. And uh, although it cannot be done by solely by the government, but with the help, but but uh, maybe enabling the environment to to be able to attract more investors to to come to the Philippines and bring this kind of job that they're looking for. Mm -hmm then probably uh, this is one of, one of the ways by which we can help our, our job seekers, or especially the underemployed. Uh, the other one is we, enhance, we can enhance capabilities or, or, or competence by way of specific trainings that we're offering. In fact, right now, uh, the Department of Labor and Employment is working hand-in-hand -hand with TESDA mm -hmm. insofar as trainings and capability enhancement is concerned in order to improve their employability so they'd be, they'd be able to, to provide uh, the needed uh, job that they are looking for on the basis of the skills and competence that they're able also to acquire mm -hmm. or, 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 or uh, finish. 
Uh, so things like this are ongoing and are being done by our government, hopefully, to bring down the underemployment, which is actually uh, huge in number. This is, we're only talking of Region 7, oh, yes. oh, about mm -hmm. half a million. Mm -hmm. no? by underemployment to our audience these are actually those who are employed already working but still they need more mm -hmm. you know, because some somehow it's not enough and they they, they need to, to further augment the income that they're getting mm -hmm. so uh, this is just a little over the unemployed mm -hmm. no, no? Yes. so we're, we're trying to the, the government is trying to look for that. this or this one peculiarity is actually not not obtaining in some other countries mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the Philippines where we have so much population uh, this is not uh, this is not uh, new, but uh, it has to be toned down in terms of its uh, its magnitude. Mm -hmm. no? Its magnitude because uh, it is also a problem, whether we like it or not. It can pose a problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, in a one-year period, uh, based on the statistics, uh, we can see that underemployment, especially in Region Seven, has dropped by uh, almost one percent or yeah. 0 0.7, which is. <laughs> Uh, much better rather than it going up. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, yeah, with the way things are going on, mm -hmm. hopefully the momentum will be there still. Mm -hmm. We hope that it will continue and uh, we'll be able to generate more kind of uh, uh, quality jobs mm -hmm. for our workers and then hopefully we, we continue to bring it down. No? We'll just hope and pray that uh, this uh, inertia that we have gained so far will continue to address no? mm -hmm. to address our problems. Not only the unemployment where we, where we have about uh, 190 of them, but more importantly also the half a million underemployed. Uh, would I be correct in saying, sir, that uh, also on the education side, uh, we now have uh, K1 to 12, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> wherein we have the vocational track. Uh, it could also help um, Which is, please, if I'm not mistaken, yes. it's a senior year. Man senior year. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would also address the employability of, let's say, our students. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. in fact, this is one of the of the changes that were introduced. Uh, the intention of the changes introducing the K to tell is actually to 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 assess the job readiness of our uh, students. That after attaining certain level in, in the education in the educational curriculum, they can even they can keep a track or choose a track where where they might probably be already in qualified or can 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 engage into uh, into employment, mm -hmm. uh, the vocational track or technical technical track or even if they proceed to higher education. So these are now options available. Mm -hmm. Unlike before, that you have to wait until you finish, you get a diploma, then that's the time that you start walking around looking for job vacancies mm -hmm. for you to qualify. But here at a certain level, that's particularly the senior high, you're not be, you're not given a certain skill. Uh, certain competence that would allow you to get employed in certain uh, aspects or areas of, uh, of work. Mm -hmm. no? And hopefully it would also diminish the mindset, especially here in the Philippines, that if you cannot finish uh, or if you do not uh, attend, university. Yeah, attend university or get higher education, uh, <laughs> you, yes, you, you wouldn't be considered employable. Uh -uh. So it, 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 that's no longer the trend now. Yes. It, it's not important that you get a degree. The mm. more important thing is you have is the skill and competence. Mm. But what good will that degree is if you don't do anything oh, in true. actual work uh, in, in uh, the actual world of work? Mm. Uh, what good will it do mm. if you don't know anything? But if you are trained to do a particular skill or competence, then you're issued a certification that uh, certifies that you are capable of doing this. Then that's more that's a lot better than oh, yeah. uh, than. Uh, presenting a diploma and then ask as to what have you done so far mm -hmm. you cannot show to that uh, uh, employer so it, it is not anymore uh, a, a some kind of uh, uh, discouraging part of the student uh, that the year he's only just getting this one in fact the highest paid worker nowadays are the technical uh, those who are engaged mm -hmm. in, in tech, technical and vocational uh, schools you know, we have Carpentry, for instance, you know, if you are a carpet certified carpenter, uh, you you just don't get a minimum wage, you no, know, uh, because the, we have a dearth of, of, of expert or uh, qualified carpenters, or a mason uh, that that that's, uh, that does uh, very well, uh, can demand a, a higher mm -hmm. 
a higher pay or a, a welder for that matter. Oh, yes. So things like this are, it's not essential that you have to have a diploma to earn money. The important thing is you have the competence and the skill to do the work mm -hmm. and then you make money out of it. Mm -hmm. um, our Dean Estoria, ang yung competence, is it still a problem now nga Mark, ang education or competence na received sa atong mga tao din sa Region 7 is mismatched by the needs sa atong mga industry? Is it a problem or One not clear, so much? Yeah, yes, attorney. One clear mm -hmm. manifestation that this seem to continue to pose as a problem because every time we do a job fair, mm -hmm. we have thousands of applicants, mm -hmm. not just hundreds, but thousands of applicants, only to find out that at the end of the day, we only hire 10, 15, 20 mm -hmm. Qualified. Quite a few. Uh, simply, oh. it simply means that uh, the, the 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 skill, the competence that the the supply offers are not enough to to, to match mm. the demand mm. of the market. So there has to be an adjustment that should be done. So one one in fact we have a we have a program tied up with Asian Development Bank, been funded by Asian Development Bank and the Canadian government under our Job Start program. Mm. The Job Start program actually is a is a bridging program that that provides transition from the time the student graduates or finishes a high school or at the college level to be able to learn a job because statistics show per, per survey conducted statistics show that it takes four years for a high school graduate to earn a permanent job mm -hmm. it takes three years for a college graduate to learn a permanent job mm -hmm. so that that transition alone allows us to, to, to have this kind of people who are not contributory to the growth of the economy, but somehow provide some problems in a way that uh, we have a lot of people that are still not into job or into, into work. So to shorten this, uh, uh, this predicament, this, this situation, what we're doing now is we come up with a job start program where we identify a specific trainee or student beneficiary and then we identify a specific employer. So, then, na mga schools yes. na identify? Uh, any graduate for that matter, ah. for as long as they qualify. Then we have the employer is more important. What specific skill does the employer need? So, because after the three month uh, training, they will be exposed to these companies. Mm -hmm. And then the, the company is, is, is actually 99% uh, uh, asked to, to absorb once the competence is already acquired. By, by this trainee. So there is uh, an assurance that there will be employment. Mm -hmm. So unlike the job fair, that all you need to do is present your biodata, your, your, your certificates, and your, your, your employment or your experiences, then the employer evaluates, then probably considering other factors, then he will tell you, uh, you your subject for further study, mm -hmm. or he will just communicate you. No, but in this case, there is an actual There's investment. Actual training. Uh, but, but part of this training actually is the 10 day lifelong skills training mm -hmm. where you have the, the critical thinking, uh, crisis management, uh, uh, art work attitude, very critical. Uh, teaching our worker what it takes to be a good employee. So that is a 10 day training. And then, uh, then comes the theory of the work that he would like to know and then actual exposure to the work in the company where he is supposed to be. Uh, then in this training, the student will be receiving 200 pesos uh, per day stipend uh, for him to sustain the training to going to and coming from the uh, work. And then uh, the company that is also a beneficiary will be receiving a subsidy of 1,000 per training you know, to, to, have to, to address the administrative cost. So after six months, uh, not, not more than six months is the engagement. If he qualifies, then he is absorbed as the worker. So th there is no 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 gap, no, no gap yes. no, that he would not in the end find a, a job, mm -hmm. because once he's accepted, then he's he's, he's deemed or dis, uh, he's bound to get that work. Mm -hmm. If he actually also because there he, are passes well, the he passes the the, the basic yes. standards. Uh, that's the same. Uh, that's the same criteria that is being adapted by the country that we visited. They have that kind of program. That's why we benchmark with mm -hmm. them on how they're doing it and hopefully improve the way we're doing. And even the government can uh, hopefully come up with policies to make sure that this program can also be institutionalized in the country. Uh, we're so happy that in that delegation, uh, Senator Sani Angara was with us, mm -hmm. uh, a lawmaker himself. And he saw how it was being done and probably think finally of how it could be done in the country. Okay, before we continue, let's take another break.
And we're back. Previously, nag-story at abahin aning katung start... Uh, on sa job start. Job, job start. Job start uh, program. na program sa Department of Labor. And as what RD previously said, Kwanisia, it is in partnership with uh, private institutions. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and, and the local in, government local unit. Local government unit. In this case, in, in Region 7, we have partnered with Cebu City government mm-hmm. and the Bohol Provincial government. And before the NIR was fully operational with the Dumaguete City government. Mm-hmm. Now, um, karon magstorya tabahin aning labor laws compliance system nato and um, usually unsa may kuan nato ani kaning unsa man ang pamaagi. function pamaagi and how can the Department of Labor determine that industries are actually complying compliance. with mm-hmm. let's say even labor the statutory yeah. provisions. Oh, provisions sa kaning labor laws nato yeah, uh, actually, this is uh, this is not a new program. This is just a continuation of the. Uh, this is just a, a a one that reinforces the visitorial power of the Secretary of Labor. But in this case, we came up with the under the leadership of our beloved Secretary Rosalinda de Mapelis Paldos. She came up with a very innovative approach on how to make sure that uh, our our issue on uh, decent work as well as uh, in- inclusive growth can be tied up with this kind of uh, program. <coughs> now, uh, we came up with the so-called labor loss compliance system. This is actually a departure from what normally was the police power of mm-hmm. the Department of Labor on trying to visit establishments and find out the, wh- what are the wrongdoings of the companies. In this case, it's different. Uh, we're trying to make sure that uh, we are there.